Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi. We're going to jump right into learning Lightroom, starting with the Lightroom interface. So let me pop up in Lightroom. And this first video, I want to just briefly discuss the different modules that are in Lightroom. And uh, you're going to probably hear that term a lot. We refer to Lightroom as being a modular program, meaning that each of the different tasks associated with our photographic workflow, whether it be from importing or processing or developing, exporting, all that stuff is divided into separate modules. Uh, to kind of separate out our workflow. And these modules are located on the top right of this, what is called the identity plate. So you can see there's five modules starting with the library, the develop, slideshow, print, and web modules. All right, guys, so let's jump right in and get to the first module, which is the library module. And on a side note, this video is kind of meant to be more of a brief overview, so we're not going to go into too much detail in each of these modules. We're going to save that for when we actually discuss the library and develop slideshow print and web modules in detail later on. So for now, just kind of get a good understanding and know that we will be covering them comprehensively later. Uh, so back to the library module. When we first start up a new catalog and we have no images in it, we're going to start in the library module and import our images. Once they're imported, we use the library module to separate our, our files basically to organize them. We can organize them into folders, into collections, and we'll explain what these are later. Um, we can add keywords to them, we can change the metadata of the images, and you'll notice that there is even a, a quick develop panel here. Now it's not very functional because it's just not very precise and there's not that many options here. So we're not going to really do any developing in the library module even though there are some kind of shortcuts to develop your images. When we actually want to develop, that's when we need to turn to the develop module, which is our next module. And this is really where we're going to be spending the majority of time, our time in this Lightroom series is in this module because it's going to be where we're doing all of our processing, our artistic edits, pretty much everything outside of just organizing our images. And really quickly, I do want to show you guys there are some similar uh, similarities between these two modules, but for the most part, they're quite different. So check this out. If I go back to the library, I can see that the library has a navigator here. But then we have catalog, folders, collections, and published services over here. When I switch to the develop module, I have my navigator, which is the same as library. But then I have presets, snapshots, history, and then I have collections, which is repeated from library. Now on the right side, they're completely different. Uh, I have the histogram on this side, which is the same in the develop module, but look at this. I have quick develop, keywording, keyword lists, metadata, and comments. In the develop module, the only one that's similar is the histogram. Everything else is completely different. And these are all of our uh, adjustments that we're going to make to the image, starting from the most basic of settings and going down to the more advanced effects that we can do. And you'll also notice that when I switch from the library to the develop, our menu up here is actually going to change. So check this out the menu options actually cycle depending on which module we're in because Lightroom is saying that they're basically separating each bits of, uh, bit of the workflow into these different modules so each one is going to have a different function. Okay so in moving on we have the slideshow module and this is exactly what it sounds like. You're going to use this module to create slideshows and in, in previous versions of Lightroom like Lightroom 2 this module is actually pretty weak. They have beefed it up quite a bit and there's quite a bit more options and stuff which make this module a little bit more useful than in, in the past. But in our Lightroom series we are going to focus on the library and develop modules first because that's kind of the bread and butter of Lightroom. And then at the end we will cover the slideshow module uh, as well as print and web. In, in the print module you have basically different uh, kind of options for setting up your, your prints. So like if you want to create contact sheets or if you want to create you know certain types of layouts and, and, and prints with your images, you can do that here. Again, it's kind of useful, but it does have its limitations. Um, and then the web module is where you're going to do some basically taking your, your images and exporting them for web. And there's actually some cool features here, like you can create uh, basically different types of slideshows and different kinds of web pages and when you export it in the web module Lightroom actually creates all of the HTML, HTML for you. It does everything and gives you basically a, a website that's just ready to upload and to, and to use. So it's kind of cool. It has some nifty functions and we're going to cover slideshow print and web modules kind of after everything else. So that is our brief overview guys. You guys can move on to the next video where we're going to start going through the interface basics.